Hey everybody, I uh, hope you're all doing well. I'm, uh, I just wanted to make a quick update video. Um, I haven't posted anything in a while, it's been a month. Um, and that's largely been, well it's been for a few reasons, uh, partially because I'm in transition again. Uh, when I moved back from uh, from Miami back up to Maryland, uh, I knew where I was coming to in Maryland was a temporary place. Uh, so I was always kind of straddling the fence as to whether or not I should unpack all of my stuff, what I should leave in boxes, what stays in storage, what comes to the apartment, because now I'm living in an apartment. Um, so... I didn't have all of my stuff and uh, I didn't have the space that I used to have um, or the the quiet because you have neighbors and I, I can hear uh, stuff going on now um, and that's not that's not make or break but uh, it does get in my head a little bit um, when I'm shooting something and, there, and there's a lot of noise uh, even though I know generally most people don't really mind if there's a little bit of, of background noise it it just uh, it takes me out of the moment. Um, I prefer it to be nice and I, I prefer it to be, I mean, ideally when I'm shooting a video, I'm, I'm, I'm as relaxed as I hope the viewer, uh, will be. Uh, I think that's the only way to really kind of tap into that is for you to feel it as well. And I'm, I'm easily, uh, taken out of that state by things like that. I, everything has to be perfect and my motivation has to be there. Uh, it's just not, it's not an easy state of mind for me to get into. I know um, for a lot of people, it, it, it's not difficult. Um, and it's easy to ignore those kind of things. Uh, but for me, for some reason, it, it's just not. Um, so that's affected my, my throughput. Um, and, you know, I didn't want to unpack everything and then just have to pack it back up again. Uh, so I'm kind of... Um, I'm just, I'm nerfed sort of uh, from the audio side of it, from the video side, from everything. It's sort of uh, operating at, at half power. Uh, so I'm going to try and uh, I, I'm not, I'm not not working on videos. I have, I have three videos right now that are in progress. Um, one is another Cosmos video. Uh, I wanted to do that, um, and I've got some segments shot for it. It's a little more in depth than the first one, uh, and there's some location stuff, um, which is you know it's fun, but uh, it's also time consuming, and, and I've uh, it, it just takes a while really. But I actually, I mean, I enjoy it. Even if I go and uh, like I've been doing some shooting uh, in various parks. Uh, even if I go and I come back and the footage is unusable, I still really uh, enjoy uh, going on hikes and stuff. So, uh, you know, it, it works for me either way. <laughs> it just doesn't uh, necessarily, it, it doesn't contribute towards a finished product in a timely manner as I would like it to. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I've got the Cosmos video uh, in progress. I've got, uh, I've got another, uh, experimental kind of um, storytelling video uh, in progress. Um, that one should be done pretty soon. Uh, and I've started, I haven't actually started shooting the third one, but I've got stuff for it. I've been thinking about it uh, for the Halloween video, which I hope to do uh, in the next few days. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. I feel like I've been out of the loop. I just finished playing uh, Life is Strange episode five yesterday. Um, I, it's funny I got it, you know, right when it came out, which was last week, uh, and it's not long. The fifth episode is pretty short, but uh, I found myself purposely uh, not finishing it because I, I didn't want it to really be over, you know. Um, so I was really kind of taking my time. Uh, and, but I finally did finish it last night, uh, and it's, uh, it's a good game, you know, it's, uh, I've mentioned this to a few people, but, you know, there, there are, 
there are not a lot of games that uh, that capture the the essence of what it is to be young and that feeling you have when you're young uh, like the world was made for you and it's it's a very innocent feeling it's not a uh, megalomani megalomaniacal feeling it's not like uh, this air it's not arrogance it really isn't because it's uh, it's chemical it's it's just this sort of feeling this kind of positive spin on everything you have not become jaded yet um, and even if you think you have you haven't really because you kind of have this feeling like the, the world is at your feet um, and it, it captures that and, and, and because that feeling carries over into all aspects of, of being young right it, including friendships and makes friendships um, much more special and, and deep uh, and easy because you feel like this is another person we're close to the same age we're in this together we are sort of parallel passengers through life um, you know in a way that once you get uh, extremely cynical I think we all most of us get very cynical by the time we're in our 20s um, you know it's it's much easier to see the negative uh, the negative motivations and the and the sort of selfish um, the selfish motivations of people that you know are our friends or want to be our friends and then of course you know there's work and family and kids and um, you know I have two kids my, my son is now one um, and you know I'm 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 a, I guess I'm an anarcho syndicalist. I don't, I, I, I don't think the, the the government can be saved. I don't think we should even try to save it, uh, because we've been trying for so long. I don't want to get into that right now. Sorry, um, but uh, what was the reason that I said that? I brought that up for a reason. Oh, because as it pertains to children, right? I mean, they say that uh, religion is the opiate of the masses. Um, but really, any kind of distraction is the opiate of the masses, and uh, I mean that includes capitalism and, and money, and it includes honestly, I mean it includes kids because when you have kids, uh, you it's actually there's two sides of it. One side of it is you have kids and you start to see the the failings uh, more clearly and how they're going to affect your children, and you become more invested in trying to do something to uh, counteract it. But at the same time, it's also, it, it makes you quiescent because it's, uh, it's a lot of work dealing with kids. And at the end of the day, you're just, you're just tired, you know, um, I'm going off on a really long, uh, boring tangent there. Sorry. Let me bring it back. Life is strange. Uh, it's a great game and it captures that idyllic sort of, uh, feeling of being young very well. And it has a lot of flaws. Uh, and the fact that I really like it while still seeing all those flaws, uh, I think speaks volumes towards the fact that it's really effective at, at doing what it does well, it does really well. So uh, I would recommend playing it. And if you play it, uh, play at least the first two episodes before you pass judgment. Um, I know whenever I'm watching a TV show or, uh, or even a movie, I make sure I give it, uh, generally with a, with a TV show, I'll make sure I watch three episodes. Um, and with a movie, I'll make sure I watch at least the first, uh, part way into the second act. Um, before I would let myself just say, no, I'm not going to finish watching it. Um, because a lot of, a lot of things take a little while to, to gear up. So, um, and life is strange is no, is no exception. It, it, the first episode is, Mm, shaky so uh, if you choose to try it stick with it so yeah so I've been playing that I've finished playing that um, working on these videos I've got some collaborations in the work as well I just did an interview with uh, Master Cool um, so that should be up soon and I've got a couple of other collaborations uh, that are either in the planning stages and one that is uh, partially filmed uh, so those, and those also take a while. So I guess I just want to do these interstitial kind of videos more often. And they may be, you know, 
I feel bad because you know I'm, I'm, I'm so so arrogant when I did my channel trailer it was very very arrogant in retrospect um, because I think you know doing some traditional ASMR is not there's nothing wrong with it it's, it's perfectly fine so I might be doing stuff like that more uh, and I'll try to differentiate so that it's easy to tell it's easy to parse what is what you want and what you don't want I guess with with tags um, you know until YouTube does something to empower its creators a little more um, so yeah that, that's pretty much it um, it's fall it's really kind of the tail end of fall the uh, trees are uh, almost lost all their leaves won't be long now until uh, they're just skeletons um, and I am not a fan of winter uh, and I don't like going outside during the winter so I'm trying to take advantage of uh, these last few weeks as much as I can before it just gets too cold uh, to do anything because I'm from Miami and it's hard to adjust to this kind of cold. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you all are enjoying these last few weeks of fall. Um, and if you're not, do it. Do it. Uh, because in two months, whew, I'm gonna... This is the only thing I don't like about fall is the anticipation of winter. Um, so yeah, I will uh, talk to you all soon and hopefully I'll be putting up videos uh, more often. Um, I'm going to try it anyway. We'll give it a go, see what people think, see what the response is. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to do another um, Mr. Jefferson video uh, at some point, but I'll have to wait until my hair grows out a bit. Um, and that's it. Okay, I will talk to you all later. Take care. <laughs> that's timing. This is what I'm talking about. All right, bye.